you back to Spirit and Culture. It has been a month since I shot a video and that is because I wanted to give myself time to take care of my hair, see how it reacted to the color that I just put in it so that I can tell you the best ways to care for colored hair. So before we get started, you already know what time it is. We must do a mantra of the day and today's mantra will be I will care for myself so that I may prevent having to cure myself. Let's take a deep breath. Mm -mm -mm. I will care for myself in order to prevent having to cure myself. What they say y'all, prevention is better than cure. Okay, so before I get started, I want to just show you a little bit of my hair been playing around with some styles. I have been l -l -l loving my new color. I'm so happy with it. So thankful that it came out. I was hesitant to do it. So that's why I reached out to my Spirit Loves Lock community to figure out what were some of people's experiences before coloring their hair. And a lot of people said that they felt that their locks were drier. So I kind of knew going into coloring my hair that that was going to be a chance that I took. What I want to tell you is that always act like your hair is damaged. If you color your hair or do anything to it, go ahead and give it the extra tender loving care as if it has been damaged so that you can prevent getting to the point where it does become damaged. So I instantly, after coloring my hair, I was like, you know what, I'm gonna take intense care of it. I'm gonna treat it as if it has been dried out badly. So that way I will not even have to get to the point of being like, my hair is coming out, my hair is drying out. I'm gonna give it and infuse it with a lot and lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of moisture. That's what I got for you today, guys. I have four ways to care for your colored hair. I have found that my locks did get drier, but after doing some research, coming up with some home remedies, I now can say that my locks were not dry for more than a day. And when I touch them, they feel like my same regular old baby girls. So let's get into these tips. My first and favorite way to moisturize my hair is to use a homemade conditioning spray. You know, I like to do things homemade, I like to keep it natural and build up free as possible. So, my new ingredients into my lock spray are jojoba oil, which has I have found to be the most game-changing ingredient going into my hair now. Aloe vera gel, as well as coconut oil, vitamin E oil, and any of your favorite essential oils. Spraying this on my hair twice a day, I literally don't experience any dryness in my locks. My hair seems to eat it up. If my hair felt dry in the morning and I sprayed it, then literally for the next nine hours, my hair would not be dry. So that's my number one tip, is to get some moisturizing oils into your hair, get the water into your hair every single day, if not twice a day. My next tip for you is to Pull it out, girl, pull out the bonnet. I cannot sleep without my bonnet. That was before I even had colored hair, and especially afterwards. If you sleep on a non-satin pillowcase, you must have a bonnet. And that is because the bonnet helps seal in the moisture when your locks are spread at night, then they all like boom, boom, boom on your pillow. It's drying out your hair all night. So if you wanna prevent lock breakage and you wanna keep and retain moisture, definitely use a bonnet. My next tip is to steam your hair in the shower. I do my best to not cover my hair when I'm taking a shower unless it's in a style and I don't want it to frizz up, which is most days I'm good with just letting the shower steam and the heat get to your hair every single day. That is an easy way to infuse moisture into your hair. And my last tip for you is to deep condition your hair every two to three weeks. Now before I colored my hair, I really didn't find the need to deep condition that often, maybe once a month, once every two months, but now I have definitely heightened the game up. I still use the conditioner that came with my color treatment uh, because I got two boxes so it has lasted. And I find that conditioning my hair for 30 minutes to an hour is really effective even though I do rinse it out with a hydrating shampoo in order to prevent buildup. So that's it y'all. My hair has been loving the moisture. I have been loving the color. I do not feel affected by it. I have been low manipulating my hair so I don't pull it up all the time or if it's pulled up, it gets pulled up for three days straight, AKA a loose ponytail that is not 
wrap tight. Um, I try my best to leave my hair down when I can. So, you know, just leave your hair alone. Let it recover from the color. Make sure to give it a lot of moisture. Again, that is having a conditioning spray, steaming your hair in the shower, sleeping with the bonnet, and also deep conditioning it. I love you guys. Let me know if you are thinking about coloring your hair, if you have other ways that you are caring for your hair. Put your girl on, put the world on. Let us hear your voice. You know I love you. I rock with you. It's spirit of culture to the end. I have more videos coming for you. Hope you are doing well and living in the moment.